Good day everyone! For today's video, we're going to discuss the maturity in disease and post-harvest of our chosen crops, which is the rice, banana, and coconut. Rice In general, the best harvest period for late maturing types is between 130 to 136 days after planting, 113 to 125 days for medium maturing varieties, and 110 days for early maturing kinds. The best period to harvest in dry season is 28 to 35 days after heading. Indication when rice is ready for harvesting when grains are hard when chewed, the plant turning yellow or brown, and about 80% of the grain have changed color from green to straw color. After harvesting before it is ready for human consumption, the rice is going to a process of field drying, threshing, shed drying, cleaning, grading, storing, weighing, and lastly, milling. Banana Bananas typically takes 4 to 6 months from flowering to reach full grown, depending on temperature, variety, moisture, and cultural procedure. The ideal time to pick your bananas are when the fruit is still green. Bananas are ready to pick when the ribs are nicely rounded and the small flowers at the end are dry and easily rubbed off. After you harvest your bananas, cut your tree back to around 30 inches and let the stem dry for 2 weeks before removing it. Banana stalk only produce fruit once, therefore it's important to trim them down to allow fresh fruit to develop again. Coconut The fruit is suitable for harvesting 6 to 7 months after blooming if you intend to take only the coconut water. If you want to consume the tasty meat, you will have to wait another 5 to 6 months. Color, in addition to time, is a sign of ripeness. Immature coconuts are usually bright green, whereas mature coconuts are brown. It can be harvested every month from coconut palm. After the harvest for the immature coconuts, intend for coconut water and tasty meat, to longer its shelf life, you can put the coconut in a fridge. For mature coconut intend for copra processing, there are four steps. First is the dehusking by removing thick skin of the fruit, leaving only the shell. After that is to crack it open. Next is the drying. Commonly here in the Philippines, farmers dry the copra using smoke. Lastly, after drying, farmers will manually remove the kernel from the shell. That's all! Thank you for watching!